At Masawa's Edgren High School, there's something interesting in class 29. But our story has less to do with what's being taught in the classroom and more to do with who's teaching it. Even if Andrea wants to... I was called to teach. I'm apt to do it. I didn't always want to do it. It was not my first career choice, but it's, it's been what I've been drawn to. Dr. Pamela Tucker has been a language arts teacher with the Department of Defense since August of 2004. But it was her experience teaching kids in Tuskegee, Alabama during the 1990s that put her career on a different path. I told the students if I could get at least 10 students to go in any branch of service, either active or reserve component, that I'd go to. And they did it. And I think that they did it to see if I would do it. So off to Fort Sia, Oklahoma, basic training, I went. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but I soon learned. <laughs> After graduating from basic training in August of 2000, it wasn't long before Pam found herself in a combat zone, smack dab in the middle of Iraq. At the onset, I was to teach English to Iraqi nationals working with the U.S. coalition forces. From that, my task manifested into writing a curriculum for a girls' school in Mosul. Pam's time in Iraq would serve her well in 2010 when she returned to the Middle East to teach once again. In Afghanistan, I worked for the Army, and my job was to oversee language arts training for the country of, of Afghanistan. And then this picture is a picture After of being an educator for so long in so many different places, what is it that keeps Pam driven to teach? I just want to disseminate knowledge. I want to learn all I can and then teach all I know. Our pathos is going to differ. And in the process, I hope that somebody lives better because of it. As class lets out, the students line up to leave. Bye, guys. And Pam Tucker prepares to impact more lives tomorrow. Staff Sergeant Chance Smith, Masawa Air Base, Japan.